Hey there, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to uh, troubleshoot or add bones to the bone manipulator window in MMD using the PMX editor. So uh, we're just going to add a few bones, um, change a few so that way they look different, you know, kind of like a, I don't know, a rig would uh, with all its different physics and stuff. And now we're going to want to name them uh, so we recognize if you can't read Japanese. Um, Hopefully you can. <laughs> and uh, this will be important for uh, the uh, next few steps. Um, also, you want to name them in English um, because they will show up in English in the English uh, MD this way. Um, so it'll help you, you know. For um, keep your stuff in order and everything. Really, just doing this as an example. Not really like we're actually going to see any stuff um, in this tutorial, but um, yeah. So um, uh, the other thing to keep in mind is, uh, even though it'll show up, uh, do not name your stuff past 15 characters. It's safer to keep it smaller than 14 characters. What I mean by that is don't make your stuff a ridiculously long name. Um, keep it short, try to abbreviate things. Um, just, you know, use your head because um, what will happen is you'll, um, you know, make your pose or do your motion data and you'll save out the VMD and then you'll uh, want to go back later and load that VMD onto your rig and uh, all of a sudden it won't work. And the reason why is because it's past the 15 character buffer and um, it basically didn't actually write any VMD data for the... Um, um, it, it, it basically doesn't know uh, the bone to apply it back to. Uh, there's no data. It just doesn't work. So. Uh, so yeah, it's, it, it, it sucks a lot because you'll find that out after the fact. Um, so yeah, keep your bone names very uh, short and pretty good. Uh, the other thing too is um, you want to have your bones in uh, these lists. And basically this is kind of like a directory and inside of it has there's groups. Um, so we're going to make uh, two groups. Um, I'm just going to kind of modify one whatever. Um, in um, English MMD, they will show up as uh, English names, so you have to toggle this, put the English name in. Test group 1 and test group 2. So uh, if you know in um, the uh, bone manipulator window how there's like little kind of plus signs where you can kind of like, you know, expand that group. Um, these would be them, the categories or groups that uh, the bones would be in, you know. So, so now that we have that, uh, we need to add bones to it. So, um, so um, one way to kind of help you, if you don't see all your bones in this list, this is the list that uh, basically allows you to add them to your different uh, kind of groups. Um, so um, you just kind of check these two uh, boxes and that'll pretty much give you everything. Um, so you just select the group you want and then let's say you want to put all the, uh, the first group of bones in there. I uh, just uh, select one and hit this button it'll add one. Uh, if you keep um, hitting the button it'll uh, continue to add more, um, more bones um, in order basically. So we wanted those uh, bones to be in this group. Uh, we're going to select the other group, and we're going to add add these other these last three bones. So we have two groups. They have different bones in there. Um, at the at this point, um, if we were to save out this uh, PMD or PMX, uh, it will these bones will actually show up in the bone manipulator window on the left. Um, if, for example, you wanted to add uh, one of these bones. To, uh, to this group and you can't find this window anymore uh, it's because they can't exist in two different groups at once so you have to actually remove it from one of the other groups 
to add it to this other group, to the new group. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind when you're using someone else's rigged or has some of the stuff set up, you can't find the bones you want to put into the group you want. Um, so just make sure you uh, you uh, have it removed from any groups before you try to add to the new groups. Um, and that's pretty much it. Even though we see everything in Japanese right here, it will show up in English in the English MMD. If you use the Japanese version of MMD, it will show up like that. Um, and that's about it. I hope this helps you guys.